This match will get red hot. And begin! Cuphead is a game with bosses. Too many, some might say. Stop! Stop! I hate this fucking snowman! And today, I'll be doing absolutely everything in it. Every boss, every achievement, all of the DLC, and every S rank. Things kick off in the Devil's Casino. I'm on a hot streak and literally can't lose. So when the Devil rolled in and upped the stakes, I obviously took him up on it. Guy doesn't know what he's getting into. Anyways, I lost real bad, and now I have to collect the contracts for all of these people's souls in order to save mine. I'm a good person like that. For the first playthrough, I'm going for every A rank as well as every coin in the game. I picked up the coin in the tutorial and three more for talking to an apple and went over to Pork Rind's shop for the spread shot. And now that I've got my kit, I dropped into the root pack to knock out my first A rank in only two tries. Aw, oh, bitch. <laughs> What a stupid way to die. All of that was dumb. The way A ranks work is that you have these five stats at the end of each boss, and you need to get under two minutes, have at least three health, three parries, which can only be done on pink objects, six uses of the super meter, and playing on regular to get an A+. If you fall one short of this, you get an A, and two short, like I did, an A-. minus. Any of these three grades will count towards the achievement. And let's be real, I rolled and smoked every boss from Inkwell Isle 1. The Root Pack, Goopy Legrand, I I went flawless on Hildeberg. Cagney Carnation, well, he, the flower did kill me a few times. Oh, it comes back on the bottom. Of course it does. So, uh, game's broken, MDHR. Might want to fix that. I don't know what to do. Oh, uh, why do you launch slippers? What does that mean? God, I'm so good at this video game. I just press right trigger better than most. Oh my God. I could not have scripted a better time to just blow it. What was that? Oh, and I'm really blowing it. Oh my god! <laughs> It was cataclysmic! I did have a little bit of trouble with Ribby and Croaks, though. Ooh, bitch. Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch! I could deal with the fireflies and raining fists of phase one. And the... the frog fan? I don't... why does he do that? But the mistake I kept making was during phase three. See that? Total misplay. Flawless, boys. Oh, I don't know if I... I think I only use five super. Oh, I never use super. Oh, shit. Oh, and I got a B rank for it. I got a B rank for not using my abilities. That's a backwards way to play the game. Let's go again. Oh, I killed him. I thought I just barely <laughs> hit the edge. <laughs> I only parried twice. Oh, A minus. Fucking B. I'm gonna lose my mind, dude. I am so frustrated with this. Give me a fucking A rank. I've beaten this boss three or four times now. I'm over it, dude. Eventually, I was able to drop the froggy duo and moved on to Inkwell Isle 2. Before Inkwell Isle 2, though, I do need to clear the two run and gun sections. These are more classic side scroller levels where you get a torrent of enemies thrown your way as you make your way to the end. You also get a ranking here, but that doesn't really matter. All we're looking for is the five coins. And it's a pretty chill time because run and guns aren't too bad yet. Oh, what's with these fucking fish, dude? For the second section, I started with Jimmy the Great, assuming he was gonna be some great beast I'd need to slay. God damn it. That was hard. <laughs> but yet again, it was surprisingly easy and I dropped him on attempt two. Oh, clean, baby. Was that second try? What wasn't easy was the next boss, Baroness Von Bonbon. Bon. She has four phases total and the first three are different mini bosses picked randomly from five possible bosses. And with each consecutive phase finished, more stuff gets added like jelly bean soldiers and a cotton candy shotgun. The gumball machine is a homie. You always want him to show up. And if you see the waffle or muffin, you're gonna have a bad time. Fuck my ass respectfully. You... Rat bitch. Two done with no damage taken. That was not cool. No, you were- I was at there. Ah! That's so fucked up. It's actually so fucked up. I can't believe we live in a society where the aristocracy is just allowed to take off their head and throw it at you. That's so fucked up, dude. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> That's my victory song. <laughs> Next guy on the docket is Beppy the Clown. No, I was just about to use the super. 
And I'm, I was about to say, I'm pretty sure it would have killed him. <laughs> and after a few minutes of trying, mostly due to my own incompetence, I got another A rank as well as the achievement Porcelain Power for killing him with my super. I got a coin for being cool and five more for clearing Funfair Fever. The next boss is our second plane level of the game, Wally Warbles, a bird with maybe the most baffling difficulty curve of any boss in the game. The main reason for that is that the first phase has an incredibly frustrating attack. It's... No matter what, I never got the hang of it, and every successful run felt like I was flunking my way through it. And then after that, it's easy. I did it too early. I was scratching my nose. I'll throw out whatever Johns I want, all right? A few minutes of attempts, and I got a solid run for yet another A rank. Five more coins in Funhouse Frazzle, which is... Uh, I don't like this level. Luckily, after that shit show, I get to have a bit of a palate cleanser with the dragon. I didn't even see you shoot that! This guy is a piece of garbage, and I made it worse by insisting on using the charge shot. Oh, they're just... their their arcs are perfect, bro. They've been going to the gym. There's an argument to be made that maybe I shouldn't use the charge shot, but I mean, I'm gonna use the charge shot. <laughs> I pressed A, what do you mean? They, they read my every move. I don't understand. <laughs> uh, oh. Okay. Yes. Uh, and I better have beat it in under two minutes. I was flying on that. Yeah, 122. Call Guinness, boys. I'm Mr. King Dice. My dice is my head. And I am a king, but I'm also a dice. Lots of fun times waiting for you there. <laughs> That is how he laughs. Moving on to Inkwall Isle 3, I spent some time in the rumor mill with rumor honey bottoms. Oh, don't you like throw an orb out? Oh, right on me. What the fuck? <laughs> how was a man supposed to know? Where are you dropping down? Okay. <laughs> don't stop making that noise. <laughs> Sailed the salty seas with Captain Briny Beard. It fucking follows me. And beat the absolute shit out of a rat. This is a really good boss fight. I like this one. Oh! Well, excuse the fuck out of me! I also got the coins in Perilous Piers and Rugged Ridge, which made me very mad. No! I was intersected with the fucking thing! And now it's time for the bane of many Cuphead players' existence, Dr. Call's robot. Phase one, you have to shoot his little satellite thing, his chest hole, and his tummy garage door. They all attack you in their own special way, and when you destroy one, they'll just start attacking you in a new way. Then he'll give you some head and round it out with a bullet health section while avoiding obstacles. With what I knew about him going in, it was clear I'd have to strap in for a long... Okay, that was my second try? Third? Not that hard, I will say. <laughs> After that disappointment, I took a trip to the theater hoping it would stir up something in my soul, and it turns out Sally's stage play was performing. As far as the boss itself, she really wasn't that bad. All four phases were pretty fun, and I was able to beat her after only a couple tries. One. Oh my god, you can land on those. Uh, that, dude, that threw me off so much. <laughs> the issue was the parries. Just be an A minus because of HP, and then I got everything else gold. I'm gonna lose my mind. I ended up winning like five times. That just meant nothing because I couldn't slap the pink things real good for an A rank. Jesus. All right, one HP in a dream, except I couldn't have timed it worse and now I'm dead. Love that for me. Uh, I hate this woman. Ah. We finally got it. As I left the theater, I realized that I didn't get the stirred emotions I was hoping for. Oh, mama. No. Okay, what the fuck? Come on, put your dukes up, put your dukes up. Oh no! What am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> die. You didn't die. I'm so scared, I'm so scared, I'm so scared, I'm so- Don't you dare intersect with that fucking flag! I don't understand how this woman works. Love her though, love her to death. This is truly the worst day of my life. I, I saw it behind her. I was so nervous. Did I get an A rank? Will you give me an A rank? You won't. Because I had two health. No, I did three parries. I did one parry. No! No! I fucking got her. I got that rat bitch. <laughs> 
six supers, three parries, one out of three HP. I'm crushing it, bro. That time better be below two minutes. Or I'm sucking my own dick. <laughs> time to wrap up this fucking charade. When you boys agree. Let's go. Fight the train. Fight the train. Nah. Oh, hello. I don't- Oh, I did do that! I just did that on... Big Mommy. There we go. Was it an A rank? Um, I must have triple parried. I, I did like 10 parries. Okay, that's gotta be an A. I think it's an A. <laughs> oh, that's for beating. No, it wasn't an A! I took four seconds too long! Wait, it, it was an A? What? All that's left now is King Dice and the Devil himself. King Dice is interesting because he's actually 10 bosses rolled into one. You'll have to parry a die to move down the board, fighting bosses along the way. I decided to keep it simple and roll a three every time, fighting Mr. Wheezy, Hopus Pocus, Hopus Pocus, and Piruletta. Easy! Uh, is that a King Dice first try? I think it is. And I think it's an A rank. Good shit, good shit. It's an A rank, first try. Claps and chat, boys. Claps and chat. After wiping the floor with King Dice, I kicked down Satan's door to settle this once and for all. But before that, I accepted his deal to join him for an achievement. Check out this cuphead I drew that's all dark and twisted. Just a glimpse into my sick mind. Now for the actual fight, which I also beat on the first try. Fuck off. <laughs> Almost. Hey, I hate that fire one. If that never happened again, I wouldn't be upset. I don't... What are these fucking blue guys up top? I have never seen those things in my life. I'm not joking. Were they there before? <laughs> Blowing it on that first run ended up costing me another 20 minutes, but the deed was now done, pun intended, and I've got every A rank. With the first big thing out of the way, it's a good time to go back and clean up the smaller stuff. So I mush my face against every surface in the game to get all the coins, and use that incidental income to clear out Pork Rind's inventory. And spending all this cash reminded me of where I got most of it, the running gun levels. And there just so happens to be an achievement for beating all of them without killing any enemies. This can be a little obtuse in general, but the main difficulty comes from figuring out the little puzzles that spring up. There are many boss monsters in most stages that aren't designed for you to get past unless you kill them. The first one being the acorn maker in Forest Follies. Oh fuck, do I have to- Oh fuck! I didn't know that! <laughs> Okay. After that initial failure, I was pretty confused on what to actually do. Ah! I was really sure the smoke bomb dash was the answer, but I eventually found another smoke-centered strategy. Sometimes, little mushrooms in the ground will shoot pink smoke clouds, and I just had to bring one of those with me to parry and then dash over the acorn maker. I'm over here doing shit no one's seen before, reinventing the game, fuck you mushroom, you ruined my speech, I'm fucking invincible! And with that stirring speech, I had my first P rank. Time to get the rest. The first four were pretty easy, all things considered, but Rugged Ridge and Perilous Piers more than made up for it. What is the strategy there? What am I meant to do? Am I just supposed to hold the L? Let me explain exactly how different they were. Here, we have a graph showing how long it took to get a successful pass this run on the first four levels. Okay, now bring in the last two. Jesus Christ. That's so weird! Am I supposed to do that every time? <laughs> crushed it, dude. I crushed it. Oh my god, I'm so good at this game. Oh, somebody stop me. Wait, let me up here. Jesus. What was that? I... Parry the fucking thing. <sighs> my mental is compromised. Oh no, no, no! I'm so upset, I'm so upset. I'm so upset, dude. I'm so upset! I'm sad! <laughs> it makes me sad. Fuck. Fuck! Fuck! I'm, <laughs> I'm losing- I'm gonna lose my mind! I had four health! I got it this time. I totally got it this time. This is it. It's in the bag, bro. Give me that invulnerability. I'm already here. It doesn't even matter. I'm better than you. Woo! 
The game really didn't want to give it to me, but I finally got a rare achievement for my efforts. Wanna guess how much gamer score? Zero. Some sick bastard decided not only to make some achievements worth zero, but also made them some of the harder achievements in the game. And now, I gotta get two more of them. The first one is Bravo Zulu P26 for defeating a boss using only mini plane bullets. The mini plane is the replacement for the dash on every plane level. You're smaller and faster, but in exchange you do half damage and your bullets travel a much shorter distance. It might sound bad, but it's only really hard if you don't have the patience for it. I went with Hildeberg on simple, and after four and a half minutes, I not only beat her, but did it flawlessly. After that, I had to beat King Dice without taking any damage. Beating all three mini bosses and King Dice at the end without taking a single hit sounded pretty insurmountable, but I was still feeling confident. I did well on the A rank run, so why change anything? It took me a minute to find my groove, but I decided to go with the P shooter and Chaser with the Energy Beam Super and Smoke Bomb. Oh, that'll work. Oh yeah, I can just dash out. I don't need to make it complicated. I had a really solid run early on, picking up two useless hearts along the way, but unfortunately took damage on King Dice's first volley of cards. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> That's the wrong button. That was the wrong button. Why would I dash with that? That's how I attack. That's not a dash. On my next good run, I got all the way up to Pirouletta before losing in the most frustrating way possible. Okay, so we're up to five. I'm gonna keep going, because I had to shoot her like one more time. But I decided to keep the run going anyways and ended up beating King Dice flawlessly. Now I just have to do it all in one run. I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, so everything I said earlier just wasn't true. Beat him with at least three health left, and you're good. Now that the only achievements left in the base game are related to Expert, it's about time we swing over to the DLC, The Delicious Last Course. New weapons, new charms, new bosses, and of course, being able to play as the lovely Miss Chalice. I sailed the ocean blue after receiving a letter from Miss Chalice, and as soon as we got where she asked us to go, she told Mugman to eat a cookie, which helped her steal his corporeal form. Why are we still friends with her? Luckily, the effect is reversed as she entered introduces us to our main man, Chef Saltbaker. He made the cookie, and if we can get some ingredients, he'll make the wonder tart for us so Miss Chalice can be brought back to life permanently. And maybe not by stealing Mugman's soul, you conniving bitch. I got some coins and made my way to Pork Rind Shop to buy the DLC items Crack Shot, Broken Relic, and Heart Ring. Those last two will come up later, but for right now, all that matters is the Crack Shot. It's a beefed up version of the Chaser that'll shoot a high damage projectile a short distance, and if that shot misses, it'll crack into a weaker shot that redirects to the closest enemy. With the new gear raring to go, I went out to test it on the bootleggers. Um, it's vertical. I didn't, ugh, fuck, I didn't expect that. Like the base game, we're going for A ranks on every boss, and I found myself with a roadblock I also had in the base game. The boss itself wasn't too bad, and I got a couple achievements for defeating him with Miss Chalice and a new weapon. And no, I didn't fall for the fake out, sorry to disappoint. My biggest problem, again, was the parries. And ironically, this problem was caused by the crack shot. Since it homes into the closest enemy, the police that blow pink smoke and the pink TNT crates would often be killed before I had a chance to parry, and his tongue in the third phase is way too horizontal to be parried by Miss Chalice. A smart man would just stop shooting when they want to parry something, but I mean, come on, what am I gonna let off the gas in a racing game? No. Eventually, I did get the magic run, which included the achievement for beating a boss with one of Miss Chalice's supers. Put a little razzle dazzle on him. There we go, give me that A rank, baby. Nope, that's not what happened. I got another achievement. <laughs> did I get an A rank? I got an A rank, hell yeah. A minus, I'll take it. But it only came after almost 40 minutes of attempts, longer than literally every other boss took me in the base game. Not really boding well for my DLC experience. Before I continued through the bosses, I took a ladder up to see the king of games. Hail ye cups, I bid thee welcome to my floating palace. I am the one true king, the king of games. Up here, there are five bosses that can only be fought using your parry. The pawn, knight, bishop, rook, and queen. To add on to that, there's an achievement for beating all five of them in a row without dying. The queen was dead and I got a king's admiration for all of my efforts. Back to the normal bosses with the only plane fight of the DLC, Esther Winchester. And lucky for me, she was much easier for me to deal with. Oh my god, that's so hard! <gasps> you were dead! You were dead though! You were dead, dude! This sucks. This sucks my ass, bro. Wait, can I just do this for real? 
Oh, that's so much easier than what I was doing. I also fought the Howling Aces, which can do this, and cleaned up the DLC bosses with Mortimer Freeze, Glumstone, and Saltbaker. And I will be talking about these three more on the S rank runs, especially this Ice King fucker. What does that mean? What does that mean? What are you doing? I got my achievements for all A ranks and beating the DLC, and now I'm cleaning up the miscellaneous stuff. First one being to beat a boss without killing any of its minions. So I took off the homing weapons and loaded the Howling Aces on Simple. The only minions from what I could tell are the Fire Hydrants in Phase 1, so I cleaned this one up easily in two tries. And now I have to solve a COD Zombies Easter Egg. Talk to the winners of some contest to get the clues of which tombstones to interact with. Get all three right and you'll be transported to the secret dream boss. But make sure you get distracted by the secret route to the last coin first. This would probably be awful if you needed to A rank it, but you can't even get a rank, so just beat them and be done. The trick of this fight is that only the one in front of you can hurt you. So with that in mind, I got the crack shot, dashed and rolled my little heart out, and cleared it in only a couple tries. Oh, achievement! Oh, is it just for doing it? Woo! You remember that broken relic I bought, right? Well now, it's the cursed relic. What that means is when you use it, you have one health and your weapon will be randomized every time you stop firing for any reason. And I have to beat enough bosses while using it to charge it up and turn it into the divine relic for another achievement. So I ran around, beat up a bunch of people with the relic and got it charged up. Well, that, that was the plan anyways, except I did the bosses on simple and apparently that doesn't count. So I did it again and actually got the achievement this time. Despite the annoying mistake that made it take longer, it still only took about an hour. I got 9 HP using a genie, a ring, and some worms, and beat a few of the main game bosses as Miss Chalice to get the last miscellaneous achievement, Decadent. The only three achievements left have to do with Expert, and it's about time I get every single S rank. Goopy Legrand is on deck first, and this guy is basically just the tutorial boss, designed to teach you how to dodge, dash, and parry. So I naturally beat him on my second try. Only five out of six. I learned my lesson and threw in another quick explosion on the very next- Hey, did you know that you actually need to make contact with the super for it to count? I learned my lesson and beat it on my fourth, fifth, seventh, I wanna go home, tenth try. There we are. Thank you. Actually got it. Thank you. My first S rank. I will not be denied this. The root pack went pretty well, except for that one time. <gasps> and then it was time for the frogs. Going for an S rank on these amphibious fucks was the first honest to god gatekeeper of this challenge. 224, what is the strategy, Cotton? Holy shit. The first issue was the fist energy balls, specifically the pink ones. These are the only things that will count towards your parry total at the end, plus more super meter is always good. Phase two went off without a hitch until he started throwing fists again. You broke the rules. Even with that, as long as you never dash to the left, you should be fine. And then it came time for phase three. I touched on it earlier, but after you dodge coins, which come out twice as fast on expert and parry the lever, you'll get one of three possible obstacles to dodge as you deal damage. Snakes, which you always want, tigers, which are harsh but fair, and bulls, which make you reset. That's so fucked. This one ended up taking me a little over an hour, which was by far my longest boss yet. Woo! Oh, please give me that S. I don't ever want to see these fucking frogs again. Oh! <laughs> oh, I still got an S! Oh my god! <laughs> dude! 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 That real joker arc. That was crazy. Don't ever do that to me. Oh, but that's okay because it's over now and I can move on to Hildeberg who took even longer. Wait, that's not good. How am I meant to know that? That's my thing. You, you, you feel me? Like you understand. You understand why that's weird? What just happened to me? Nope, 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 nope. Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. Game's fucking broken. Hate it. Redesign it. Like, give me some way to know what the fuck she's gonna do. If it wasn't clear, I don't like the Gemini. I just couldn't figure it out for the life of me. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I tried so many theories to get a pattern on what direction it would start shooting from, and it wasn't until watching the footage literally as I typed this part of the script that I realized they will always start shooting straight up or straight down. I was trying to make it way more sophisticated than it actually was. Change, you rat bitch. Change. Change! <laughs> 
Sagittarius and his stars suck too, but I just needed some reps for that part. Sometimes I was able to melt him so he was only able to fire once, but that seemed kind of arbitrary. After a while of attempts, I decided to give Miss Chalice a try since her weapons would probably work better for the minions and Sagittarius' stars. Dude! Saggy baby! Shut the fuck up! And yes, I am using DLC items for the S-Ranks. I will probably also use Mimic Tier on Melania when the day comes. If someone tells you this is the wrong way to play the game, imagine them exploding in your mind. Whoo! Whoo! I got it, I got it. And I healed twice, so I definitely got three parries. And that makes S-Rank number four. I cleared up the first area with Cagney Carnation and roared into Inkwell Isle 2, clearing the Baroness and Jimmy in just ten minutes. <laughs> Ah, get fucked, Genie. After that was Beppy. And although I did have problems with him at first, once I settled on the weapon combo of Roundabout and Spreadshot, it only took a few minutes as well. The Spreadshot in particular is great for enemies that you can intersect with since it's easy to land all shots with the standard and EX attack. Woo! And the clone is dead. I expected the bird to be a problem because, you know, eggs. Oh my god. I'm gonna get rolled, but actually dropped him in literally five minutes. Don't know how I pulled that one off. You might expect Grim Matchstick to be hard, but with the lobber and the clouds moving in the opposite direction, he wasn't much trouble either. There we go. Give me that S rank, boys. There's a bit of an S rank in the house. Out. Standing. Rumor Honeybottoms, Werner Wehrman, Briny Beard, Dr. Call, Phantom Express, even bosses that gave me trouble like Cala Maria and Sally Stageplay. I was flying through them at a truly absurd rate, but like all good things, it couldn't last forever. I really wanted to end the run with the two big bads, so I figured now was the best time to switch gears to the DLC. This would be the worst mistake I have ever made in my adult life. I started off with the Moonshine Mob again, this time with Cuphead. He's a little weaker of an option for phase one and two, but way better for three since he can actually parry the tongue. And once I got used to him for this fight, I was still able to beat him pretty easily, getting my second to last achievement in the process. Esther Winchester was the DLC's actual first uptick in difficulty. She was already a little overwhelming with all the different projectile sources, and now they all move faster. The one thing in particular that tripped me up though were the safes. They fall down from the sky and when they hit the ground they spit money in your direction. At least on regular, they have the good decency to stay to the left and right of you. Here, they'll drop anywhere they damn well please. I'm not really mad anymore, I'm kind of just doing my thing. But I am presently in the in the situation of, damn, I don't know if I can actually do this. <laughs> like, th this one's hard. In spite of that difficulty spike though, I did eventually get it down and was one S rank richer. Glumstone kicks the difficulty up another notch and takes the spot as my new longest boss to beat. In phase one, his main direct attack comes in the form of clouds emanating from the cauldron in his mouth. I Okay. It might seem bad, but it's easily the most manageable attack and gives plenty of parry opportunities. The less manageable part is everything else. Gnomes pop out of the ground to damage you. Other gnomes will accumulate at the bottom to throw gold nuggets at you. Other other gnomes will sneak up the back of the pillars to hit you with a hammer. And Mother Nature joins the fray in the form of a flock of geese flying overhead and a whole ass bear. The next two phases were comparably simple. Phase two just needs you to dodge the ball and the jumping gnomes. And for three, you have to avoid the platform he throws food at until he throws a bone at one. Then you can parry that platform and reset all of them. <gasps> no! <laughs> Despite how simple they felt, doing all three of these in a row without taking damage was all it took to make this a hard fought S rank. I got it. Oh my god, and I did it actually flawless. I never got hit. Oh! I feel so good! I'm feeling good in the neighborhood. Let me see that. S ring, baby! Oh, I'm feeling good. I was finally dipping my toes into the final five bosses with Howling Aces. And being so close to the end, I was feeling pretty good. I am going to take damage. Yeah. <laughs> Get ready, that's happening. <laughs> oh, I gotta be a content boy. Get a reaction. <laughs> <laughs> No, she was dead! Oh. I knew she was dead, too. Fuck! I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done it. Oh. I got it. Woo! I got scared when I got hit, but I got it. Oh. 
Jesus crow. I've been on a pretty hot streak up to this point, and with such a long hot streak, it was only natural that the game saw fit to put me on ice. Mortimer Freeze was unequivocally the hardest, most bullshit boss to S rank. Stop! Stop! I hate this fucking snowman! These stupid icicles. I'm not presently enjoying this, I would say. Literally every attack the snow golem does. I'm gonna scream! And some filthy degenerate decided to end the fight with this eyeball attack. This thing was the gatekeeper of this fight. Holy shit. I also had the bright idea to use Cuphead at one point. Let me tell you right now, do not try this. Beating Mortimer with Cuphead is a fool's delusion, and you deserve better. That sucks. Oh, I happen to be in the right spot! That's so pog of me. Oh my god, he's- Dude, this sucks. This is my least favorite. Easily. <laughs> I can't- I can't process this man. Had a pretty good pay- Oh, I had a great pace. Only a minute and a half? Why does it feel like an eternity? If I don't get three parries on this, I am going to cry. So, like, heads up on that. Give me the bad news. The ice was still on the move, baby! The juice is loose! <gasps> oh. oh! I think I got it. I, I might have taken a little too long. Oh god, that hurts. But I I think it was everything's good. I think everything's kosher. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Easily, without a shadow of a doubt, the hardest boss. After such a harrowing experience, I probably should have taken a break, but instead, I didn't skip a beat and went straight to Salt Baker. And that was a mistake. Oh wait, no, it was pretty easy. The beginning was a lot more hectic and that took a little getting used to, but after that, it really wasn't that bad. And when the help of Miss Chalice's super that gives you a free hit, I shattered him in a tight 20. And now I can go back to the mainland and finally finish this up. For King Dice, I went with the same bosses, Cigar, Rabbit, and Roulette. The first guy changed up his shots, which threw me for a loop a little. Fascinating. But soon enough, I was beating him easily. The Rabbit in particular became a lot harder because the suits move a lot faster and you might not make it to the pink one in time. And Pirouletta? Man, that girl doesn't have an inconsistent bone in her body. She is exactly the same as I left her. For King Dice, he throws longer strings of cards at you, but he still isn't much of a problem. Ooh. Get fucked, King Dice. I am better than you. I am faster. I am stronger. And now, only one boss left. The Devil. And I actually love the Devil, because he is pure and simple. Get the spread shot with Miss Chalice's third super, and you are good to go. Despite the simplicity, I did still have to spend some time getting the hang of it, and pretty early on got to the final phase without taking any damage. Dude. Alright, enough fucking around. Let's wrap this up. There we go. Woo! Show me that S rank. Oh. You love to see it. It took a while, but I was finally able to get every achievement, every S rank, and 300%. Thanks for stopping by. It's a delicious last course. Oh, the delicious last course. One can eat their fish.